I built these display cases for some friends of mine, and they must have liked them because they asked me to make uh, a couple more. I want to make them just uh, another row bigger. Uh, they're made out of oak. They have um, finger joints or box joints. Got a little keeper latch here. The uh, shelves are half inch oak so they won't sag and they're held in place with dados. And these are the uh, two I built for them. And I'm going to be building two more just like them. So let's get to work. Since I'm making two, I put one together uh, so I can show you how I made them. Uh, first, uh, let me show you how I made the, the sides, the top and the side. operation is to cut the shelves. Well, now that the uh, shelves are cut to length, it's time to cut them to get. Well, the case all fits together and I got all the shelves in there, so it's time to cut out the bottom and install the bottom. Okay, I got my plexiglass cut. Uh, the next thing, uh, the next thing I need to do is uh, put the trim around the edges of the box. If you look over here on the uh, prototype, uh, this is the trim I'm talking about, right there. This holds this holds the plexiglass in place. Uh, by the way, this you can see, you can't hardly see through that plexiglass. That's because it's got this uh, protective film on it. I leave that protective, protective film until it's stained and uh, polyed and everything else. Okay, so let's uh, cut the trim and install the trim. Trims installed, and I've uh, put uh, wood putty 
in the brad holes and some of the corners. Uh, the next, uh, and the next thing I'll be doing is doing a little bit of sanding, and then I'll be splitting tape. Now that the case is split, you can see how the shelves fit in there. I've rounded over the edges. You can see that so that the uh, case door will make that turn. Staining these boxes with this uh, Minwax natural stain. And I don't know what it's like on other wood, but it works real good on oak. I've uh, pretty much got the boxes uh, stained. I've had to expand my garage here or my workstation out because these things are so big. And down here at this end I got the, uh, the shelves all stained. Well I'm getting, uh, I'm getting some shellac on. If you've never fiddled with shellac, it's pretty neat. It dries, it dries real quick. And I think I've used a little bit, but not a lot. You know, I think you just got to make sure you just got to make sure that you sand between coats. But with shellac, you know, you can you can put a second coat on. They say on the can, thirty minutes, um, and I think. It's a matter of, a, you know, just a few hours to, to, to uh, sand. I like to wait at least 12, but preferably 12, uh, 24 on, on uh, polyurethane. But I've got, I got this uh, couple of coats on that box couple of coats on that box and I got about uh, three coats on the shelves. Uh, the shelves I'm going to make removable uh, in the in the one I showed at the start of the video uh, those were tacked in place but I'm going to make these uh, removable so that over the years this thing will have a little bit more flexibility. Well they're uh, finished Very uh, similar to the other ones I made for my friends. The differences on this version, I put two draw catches on the uh, on the door because it was. Um, because it has a bigger door. Additionally, I added another shelf. Uh, the other, the other one had uh, only had four shelves, and so I added one, added one shelf. These, in this version. Theoretically, 
if you ever had to, you can take these, uh, you can take these shelves out. Uh, they're a pretty tight fit, so they won't come out without persuasion, but they will come out. The uh, plexiglass came out uh, unmarred. That's always a worry because, you know, it's pretty soft stuff and you get it around uh, tools and sandpaper and all that business, so uh, you get into some trouble. But anyway, that's the uh, that's the end, and thanks for watching, and uh, tune in for more projects.